Coming up on Wave TV, we highlight SHS basketball coach Davis' 100th win. And we get the scoop on a new student run club here at Somerville that hopes to spread awareness and make change. Good morning, Somerville. We hope you enjoyed your four-day weekend, a weekend in honor of both Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday and finally making that halfway mark to summer. Today is Friday, January 25th. Also, National Opposite Day and Wave TV doesn't start now. It gets hard to feel friction underwater She's breaking the tearing at the border too deep to save herself, she takes a pill that seems to help Close her eyes and pictures standing at the altar College decisions are super important, and every senior hoping to extend their academic education is very familiar with it. I know I am. To kick off the show, reporter Jade Goodrich highlights senior college acceptances and decisions. I'm Zach Jury, and I'll be attending Clemson University. I'm Lacey Colon, and I will be attending College of Charleston. I'm Alicia Zendars, and I'll be attending Winthrop University. I'm Jocelyn Scahill, and I'll be attending the University of South Carolina. I'm Kendra Workman, I'll be attending Coastal Carolina. I'm Mackenzie Cummings, I'll be attending College of Charleston. I'm Brandon Dukes, and I'll be attending Winthrop University. I'm Dylan Barris, I'll be attending Gardner Webb University. I'm Dana Mazik, and I'll be attending University of South Carolina Buford. My name is Andrew Black, and I'll be serving the United States Marine Corps. I'm Regina Henthorne, and I'll be serving the United States Army. Uh, Trey Thompson, 91 Delta, in the U.S. Army. Jordan Spears, 88 November, United States Army. Tejon Kidd, serving the United States Army as a 92 Yankee. Cordell Wetzel, serving the United States Army. Kayla Metz, serving the United States Navy. Caitlin Locklear, serving the United States Navy. Uh, my name is Haley Skilton, and I'm serving the United States Marine Corps. Congratulations to all of these seniors. If you would like to be part of the next College Decision Day, please bring a proof of acceptance to guidance. Reporting for WAVE TV, I'm Jade Goodrich. Congrats, Coach. Continue making SHS proud by keeping those wins coming. Now academics. Flexibility, fewer distractions, and intimate connections with family, friends, and instructors are three of the many benefits of virtual school. Reporter Molly Ackerman talked with an SHS guidance counselor to give us more on why online school is a good option to have on any table. Keeping with academia, we're all very aware of the block schedule implemented in DD2 high schools. Wave TV checks in on SHS to see how the school is adapting. Hey students, as many of you may or may not know, Somerville offers many online classes for all grade levels. We talked to Ms. Tolliver for more information. I think virtual school is important for students who need it to either catch up on a class that they weren't able to get in their schedule or to make up for a class that maybe didn't go so well when it was scheduled um, on their, in their school day. They can use it for credit recovery or for initial credit without impact in their school day. Online classes can be used as a very important tool if you're in risk of failing as a senior or if some classes aren't able to fit in your schedule. If you were trying to catch up, um, we have students that are in what we call recovery. Um, they've gotten off track either ninth grade or 10th grade or even maybe 11th grade and they are trying to graduate with their class. Uh, taking a course or two on the virtual school can help them to catch, to catch up. The virtual school runs three sessions, one in the summer, one in the fall, and one in the spring. So theoretically, a student could catch up on between three to six classes in, in a regular school year. We want to make sure that students are uh, discussing this with their school counselors who can help guide them uh, like as to which classes would be appropriate. Thanks, Ms. Tolliver. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask your guidance counselors. Reporting for Wave TV, I'm Molly Ackerman. With semester one coming to an end and the new schedule setting in, we asked some students and faculty on their opinion on the block schedule. I've really enjoyed having block schedule. I teach math, so being able to do a lesson and then also sit back and do the practice immediately after is really handy. I do like the block schedule. Um, I think it's really good for chemistry classes because um, we do labs a lot of the time and with time to set up and get in there and get doing our labs, um, it's a lot easier to do that in 90 minutes than in 45. 
no, I don't like the block schedule because like they have too much time in the class, and like they be trying to give us so much work, and then a bunch of homework on top of that. Mm -mm. We have one more semester till the end of the year, and this new schedule makes it go by fast. Yeah, I like the old schedule better because they gave you less homework and you had less time in the class to do with them teachers. Many think this schedule is better since multiple colleges use this extended period schedule. I'm excited about it. Teaching Algebra 3 next semester, uh, working on uh, activities, and then also do uh, lecture and a little bit of, of, of problems so that the kids can actually, hopefully, figure out what we're doing before they go home to do any work on their own. We have one more semester till the end of the year, and this new schedule makes it go by fast. For Wave TV, I'm David Taylor. Man, I really need to open a bank account somewhere. Why don't you try Heritage Trust Federal Credit Union? Being a member owner has many benefits, and they're located right here at SHS. Really? Please tell me more. I will. It's 2019, and Heritage Trust Federal Credit Union wants to help you jumpstart your new year. For a limited time, new members will be automatically entered for an opportunity to win a Super Tech gift basket, including a $50 Visa gift card. So please make sure to visit the Student Run Branch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday during ILT. They're located in front of the auditorium. Offer available for new memberships open between now and January 31st at the Somerville High School Branch. Federally insured by the NCUA. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. This year, spread some love with a candy gram to someone special. On sale January 28th through February 6th, while supplies last. Purchase during ILT in the cafeteria or before school, all in room 167. Proceed support the DD2 Starlight Prom. Now, although a sensitive subject, it's an important conversation amongst high school students. If topics pertaining to sexual assault trigger you, viewer discretion is advised. Reporter Emma Bessie speaks with a Somerville High School student about her efforts to start a sexual assault prevention club. Sexual assault is a serious problem that can have lasting harmful effects on victims and their family, friends, and communities. The goal of sexual violence prevention is simple, to stop it from happening in the first place. Me and another senior, Danielle Davis, are starting a sexual assault prevention club, which is meant to provide a safe space for people who have been in these situations with sexual assault and want to learn more about how to protect it. Founders Crystal Kalinko and Daniel Davis had advocated with student activism and is striving to start SHS's own sexual assault prevention club to spread awareness while searching for a sponsor. Sexual assault isn't talked about enough around our school and a lot of people are miseducated. They think that rape only can happen if you tie down a girl or group with them, but it's not just that. If you say stop, that should be enough. So my goal of this club is to educate more people around our school on sexual assault and how to prevent it from happening to themselves or friends. Sexual assault is not limited to one target. Anyone can be affected by sexual violence. put in this situation before and I didn't know what to do and I just, I regret it and I felt like if I just had someone to educate me and help me and understand what to do when I was in that situation, that it would have been a lot better. And I've had lots of family members that were sexually assaulted. While all students have heard about sexual assault, they may not know how to prevent it or how to seek help after it has occurred to themselves, a friend, or a loved one. Regardless of age, gender, sexual orientation, sexual assault can happen to you and you should take the steps to prevent it before it happens. If it's happened to you, you're not alone. And there are people that can help. And if it hasn't, but it's happened to a friend you know, you can help them too. If you or a friend have experienced an encounter, please call or report your incident to any of these safe, confidential hotlines. You can make a difference. Reporting for Wave TV, I'm Emma Bessie. Thanks for helping raise awareness on such an important conversation. Now we talk money. Hey, Leah. Hey, Jelani. You're a high school student, as am I. How are you with budgeting and money management? Not at all. Me too. In order to have a society that has citizens who are mindful of their economic development, it's super important that high school students are taught to be more involved in personal finance. Reporter Marley Bassett elaborates. Also, fundraising is an important tool for any well-functioning club in class. The SHS dance team is no different. Reporter Jacob Jr. Mayhew explains how dance is raising money. After that, the Heritage Trust commercial. 
Hey Somerville, recently in the South Carolina Senate, a new bill was filed to add a personal finance class to the standards in every high school in South Carolina. The class would cover budgeting, credit, getting a loan, and teaching you how to manage your debt. We talked to Ms. Hazelton to find out more. Personal finance is something that all students need. Actually, everyone needs it, no matter what occupation, education level, whatever, they need personal finance. I think they would enjoy it. Um, in the past, parents have really loved it because they come in and they say they wish that's something that they'd had in high school to help them avoid the pitfalls that they ran into. Um, so I think it would be beneficial for all students. Like I said, no matter whether they are a laborer, a doctor, an athlete, everyone needs to know how to manage their finance. We also talked to a student that would possibly be affected by the addition of this class. I think everyone would benefit from it. I do think there's not like as much of a focus on personal finance. Obviously we do like economics, but we don't really learn how, that's like a big complaint everyone has, is like, how do I do taxes? Like I leave school, I don't know how to like pay a bill, you know? So I do think that would be something we'd enjoy taking. If this bill is adopted, it will go into effect in time for the 2020-2021 school year. For Wave TV, I'm Marley Bassett. Somerville, I have two questions for you. Are you bad at dancing? Do you want to be not bad at dancing? If you answered yes to both of these questions, then you should come to the Somerville Dance Company Clinic. On Saturday, February 23rd, the Somerville Dance Team will be offering lessons on basic technique and choreography for dance company tryouts. Even if you don't plan on trying out, it will be a great experience, no doubt. The class is between 9.30 and noon and is $20 to attend, so don't forget. Reporting from Wave TV, I'm Jacob Jr. Mayhew. High school is filled with many memorable experiences, some of which we hope to forget, but through it all, its lasting impact shapes us. SHS is throwing a prom, and this time, everyone is invited. All special ed students in DD2 are invited to have a high school experience they otherwise might have missed out on. Hope to see everyone there. Lastly, Hannah Simmons gives us another SHS sports rundown. Hello, Somerville. Welcome back to another Green Wave sports segment. I'm Hannah Simmons, and let's jump right in. Let's start off with the SHS wrestling team. On January 10th, the Green Wave battled crosstown rival Ashley Ridge, where the Foxes were soundly defeated with a 42-28 victory. On January 16th, senior night was hosted at the firehouse, as the Saw Warriors were found on their backs and looking at the lights most of the night. SHS also pinned Decane Bay and Berkeley High School, and are surely riding a wave of momentum into February. Moving on to basketball, our boys are making a strong name for themselves. They were able to quench an Ashley Ridge comeback on January 16th that ended with a final score of 55 to 48. Mark Mazik led the team with 20 points. The following week, Somerville fell to Stahl and West Ashley. The boys did have a strong win against Battery Creek, 61 to 42, where Andre Banks had a team high 16 points. Our girls basketball team also beat Battery Creek, 63 to 35. Kylie Sims led the team with 15 points as the team improved to 15 and 6. With their win over Battery Creek, Coach Davis clinched his 100th win. Here's Ryan Windham with more. Thanks, Anna. Now we speak with Coach Davis to not only congratulate him on his 100th win, but to recap how he's gotten to this point. It was very um, exciting. That's a milestone that a group of young ladies has helped me to achieve. My first um, assignment as a head coach. I went to Cross High School, and then it was a building block. Then I got the job at Somerville High School. And my first year here, we only won three games. And then after that, we won 12, and this year we are already 14 and six. Coach Davis also shares his favorite experiences during his coaching career. Favorite moment in all of coaching was being an assistant coach and winning the state championship. First of all, I couldn't have win 100 games without by myself. It took all the girls that I've coached over the years to get me to this point. Thank you, Coach Davis, for all your hard work. And we hope that you have many victories ahead of this one. Now back to you, Hannah. Thanks, Ryan. And again, congratulations to Coach Davis. Moving on. The Green Wave had a strong region start this season as they defeated both Asher Ridge and Saul High School. Both the boys and girls will face off against the Swamp Foxes for a second time tonight, this time at Asher Ridge High School. That's all we have for winter sports this week, Somerville. Make sure to come out and support our team wherever they may play. For Wave TV, I'm Hannah Simmons. Well, that's all the student news we have for you this week, Somerville. Make sure to check out our social medias. That's Wave TV on YouTube and Wave TV News on Instagram. I'm anchor Leah Davenport. And I'm anchor Jelani Moore. Have a great weekend, Somerville. Everybody needs to think about posting whatever. When people ask how I'm doing, I've never been better. That's really not a conversation I'm willing to enter. How come we all continue forcing out all of this pressure? I'm just sick of these opinions and all of these lectures. I need my space now so I can feel nothing. I live this nightmare so well.